A number of community members were at Faith Community Church Thursday morning as the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce presented founder of the Hopkinton Independent newspaper, Sarah Duckett, with their annual Distinguished Service Award. You know, it's hard to put in perspective what Sarah Duckett's meant to the community because uh, if you think about the kind of impact that the Hopkinton Independent has uh, on the politics and sort of community affairs, uh, it's a pretty daunting, uh, it's a pretty daunting challenge to try to do that. You know, she she's been immersed in the community. She's proven herself as a volunteer over the years. Appropriations committee, very much involved in the library, and then starts the Independent, which has made a, a major contribution to the town. That's why she deserves the recognition she received this morning. So pretty much every way that it would be possible to touch a town and have an influence in a town. Sarah has found a way to do, and it's kind of been drawn, I think, to do that just because how much you care about the town. Many community leaders were happy to recall memories and to recognize Sarah for all the hard work she has done to keep Hopkinton residents informed with what is happening in their town. Most people appreciate the impact of a local news, of what the local newspaper has on a local economy. The fact that she sold rather than closed the newspaper was her way of keeping Hopkinton great. Sorry about that. For one, a local newspaper affects the cost of borrowing for the town's projects. The Independent affords local citizens the opportunity to scrutinize and interrogate the quality of projects and policies before approval. Lenders and creditors appreciate that. If she had closed the publication, the vacuum created would most likely be filled by national papers whose desire is to chase the national and global sexy stuff and might not give a damn about local projects. And so, yes, as others have previously said, the entire Hopkinton owes her and her family a debt of gratitude. Chamber of Commerce Chair Scott Richardson was also in attendance and happy to be part of recognizing Sarah as one of his last Chamber of Commerce duties. Well, again, it was kind of like an, a long overdue recognition of Sarah and her contribution to the town uh, over the past, what is it, 40 plus years. Um, certainly focusing on really the creation of the Hopkinton Independent as a really critical part of this community and having it continue after she leaves is a testament to you know kind of her vision and commitment to further communicating what's important to the town. And uh, also, I guess this was your last presentation as president of the Chamber of Commerce. Could you just talk about uh, what it was like to uh, be the president of the Chamber of Commerce and work with that group all these years? Sure. Well, again, uh, we, have a, we have a great group. And over the past six years or so, uh, certainly every year I'd say, well, who wants to be president? And nobody kind of stepped up, which was okay because we had, we have a lot of new members, a lot of great committee chairs, and they're really doing the bulk of the work. So, but obviously after that time frame, it's time to get some new, new people, uh, you know, up, coming up the ladder and, uh, Sir Christina agreed, uh, to be, uh, to be president. I think she'll do, I know she'll do a wonderful job. So it was time. Despite the very deserved accolades, recognition, and awards, Sarah stated she wasn't looking for any of that. It's a little overwhelming. It really is. I, uh, I don't do things for recognition. I just do things that need to be done. So it's, uh, it was fun, but I would have preferred not to have it happen. <laughs> After running the Hopkinton Independent for nearly 20 years, the memories will live on for Sarah. Memories are what I have now. <laughs> but um, I can't believe where all those years went. It's just so, so fast. You know, it's, the older you get, the faster they go. I strived to find an exit plan when I knew it was time to retire. I wanted the paper to continue. With a sale to Suzanne Farber and Dave Bagnan of the Community Advocate, I believe I have found that commitment to community and continuity. And I can't get away without recognizing the enormous support of my family. From the beginning, they built the desk arrangement, taught me how to use the computer. That was a big one. <coughs> I had never even used a keyboard before. Uh, they were available whenever I had a problem, went with me when I dropped off the paper in Worcester, 
and learned how to print process worked and kept me updated on what was going on in the schools. God bless them all, three kids and a very supportive husband.